You know what's better than a gun? Being a gun, or specifically turning your head into a revolver, and this manga gives you that and more. No Gun's Life is a seinen manga created by Tetsuka Karasuma. This series is about Juzo Inoue, aka Juzo the Resolver, one of the extended, a person that's undergone mechanical augmentations to their bodies, uh, his prime augmentation being a giant revolver as a head. Juzo is hired to resolve issues or situations around the city, and one such leads to leads him to Tetsuo Arahabaki, a child experimented on and on the run from the mega corporation Berhuren. Hired to protect the boy, Juzo must f fight off the agents sent by this mega corporation to retrieve Tetsuo at all costs. There's an obvious reason why this manga interested me. Juzo. He's a man with a freaking gun for a head. How bizarre and badass is that? So I definitely had to check it out and review Volume 1, which came out recently, mid-September. So, Volume 1 collects 6 chapters of the series, Renegade Extended, Remote Control Extended, Negotiation, Puppet, Lost, and Trigger. The story of chapters 1 to 3 revolve around Juzo being hired to protect Tetsuro. Tetsuro is run on the run from Beru... Uh, Berurin, it's it's German, I'm gonna mispronounce it anyway, so a mega corporation um, that is heavily responsible for how the word world is currently is, especially for the uh, existence of the extended. Uh, despite being labeled a, as a outdated or older model of extended, Juzo fights to save and protect Tetsuro from his captors. The pacing of each uh, chapter is particularly strong, it doesn't rush or slow down the story. It serves as a great introduction to the, to the main characters, both protagonists and antagonists, uh, primarily with the former. Uh, initial world building, such as who the mega corporation is, what extended are, etc. Uh, and there's a lot of cool, great action scenes within each chapter. Uh, anything with Juzo is just, just looks great. It's such, I mean, a guy with a revolver for his head, he's going to look intimidating. So you're going to need some good scenes there to show how intimidating a guy with a freaking gun for a head is. The story of chapters 4 to 6 revolve around someone or something that is attacking extended children and leaving their prosthetic limbs out in public, an act that Juzo and Tetsuo believe is a message sent by um, Berurin. Second verse, same as the first, pa the pacing of each chapter is particularly strong, doesn't rush or slow down the plot. What these chapters do is serve as a great character development for Tetsuro. Juzo lives by these words, wipe your own ass, meaning if you have a problem, sort it out yourself and not by having others fix it for you. And when Juzo is forced to help Tetsuro solve a case, the latter learns from this mistake of what he's done and it's a big development moment for him. The manga does a great job of portraying and building up the, building this up within these three chapters and also building a bond between Juzo and Tetsuro as they become partners in this um, in this story. What the manga also does well is kind of relieve the tension of the story. It's not 100% guns firing, train smashing, cyborg versus cyborg action. Sprinkling in between a moments are uh, like mellow or comedic moments which, which also add a bit more to the characters. So for the story, um, I give No Guns Life Volume 1 a 4.5 out of 5, a great start to the series, nails initial character introduction, world building, and plot setup. For the art, I get the art for No Guns Life is great. Every single panel and every single page looks great. The art and the action scenes are amazing and so good to look at. For rating, I give No, no Guns Life a 5 out of 5. Amazing great art by the mangaka. And, I mean, it just, look, just looks great to look at, essentially. And that is it for this review. Thank you all for watching. Uh, definitely check out No Guns Life if it interests you. It It's great from what I've read so far. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.